Hello students how are you all doing hope everyone is fine with good health I hope my video on chapter 1 is clear to all of you all and today I shall begin a new chapter chapter 2 files and folders in windows 7 Many times you get worksheets on different subjects in the classroom. You work on these sheets and get checked from your teacher. At home, you file them in their respective folders. Now imagine that these worksheets are not bound together into their respective folders, but are left loose at one place. What will happen then? These all worksheets will get mixed up. Finding a worksheet will be a difficult task. On the other hand, it will be quite easy to locate a worksheet when bound into a folder. Having a separate notebook for every subject will make locating even easier. To store our information properly, we have files and folders. Now let me explain to you all what these files and folders are. file is a collection of related information stored together as we keep important papers in a file similarly any information in a computer is saved in the form of a file each file is given a name which helps us to locate the file again when we need information stored in it as we keep our files in an almara or a file cabinet similarly A computer folder is like a cabinet where we keep relevant files. A folder can hold other folders as well. A folder that is the part of a folder is called a subfolder. All the files and folders are stored in the drives. Most of the computers have at least two drives. C drive for the hard disk and D drive for any other type of disk. I hope you all have understood what are files and folders. Now I shall explain to you all how to create a file and a folder. First let me explain to you all how to create a file. The most common way to create a file is by using any application software. To create a file, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Open MS Word. It starts with a blank page. Step 2. Start typing text on the blank page. Step 3. After completing your work, save it by clicking on office button and selecting save as option. A dialog box will appear. Type a file name, your file will be created. Now let's see how to create a folder. The steps to create a folder are as follows. Step 1. Click the right mouse button once in the blank area of the desktop. Step 2. A pull down menu appears. Step 3. Select the new option. A new sub option appears. Step 4. Click the folder option. A new folder will be created and displayed on the desktop. Step 5 Type the name of the folder at the cursor position and press the enter key. Step 6 A new folder is created. We have learned how to create a file and a folder. Now let us learn how to open a file and a folder. It is very simple to open a file or folder. For this Move the pointer to that file or folder and double click on it. The file or folder will open and you can view its contents. Do you all know how to use context menu? If not, let me explain it to you all now. The context menu is the other name of the shortcut menu. A pop-up menu appears when we right click on an icon or desktop. Using this pop-up menu, we can save our time to access commands. Different areas and objects can be right-clicked to have different sets of menus. Do it practically to understand more. Now we shall learn what happens when we right-click in the blank area of the desktop. 
when we right click in the blank area of the desktop, a different menu with personalize at the bottom appears. Using the personalize option, we can change the background, setting of the desktop, screen saver, appearance of icons, menus, message box, font, color, etc. and also give various visual effects to them. Do you know what happens when we right click on the object? An entirely different menu will appear when we right click on any icon on the desktop. The properties option still appears at the bottom of the list. Do you all know what is shortcut icon? If not, let me explain you all what is shortcut icon and how we can create a shortcut icon. The shortcut icon provides an easy and quick way to open a file or program that we use very frequently. The lower left corner of the shortcut icon has a small jump arrow. Double clicking the shortcut icon will open the file or program it represents. Now let's see the steps to create a shortcut icon for Microsoft Word. Step 1 Click on start button and select all programs. Select Microsoft Office. Step 2. Right click on the Microsoft Office program. A pop-up menu appears. Select send to option. You will find another cascading menu. Now click on desktop that is create shortcut option. Step 3. A shortcut of Microsoft Word appears on the desktop with an jumping arrow in the lower left corner. Step 4. Now we can double click on the shortcut icon to open the application directly. Now let us quickly summarize what we have learned in this video. First we learned about files and folders. So what is a file? File is a collection of related information stored together. What is a folder? A computer folder is like a cabinet where we keep relevant files. And all these files and folders are stored in the drives. Next we learned about creating a file or a folder. The most common way to create a file is by using an application software. We also learned about context menu. The context menu is the other name of the shortcut menu. And finally we learned about shortcut icon. The shortcut icon provides an easy and quick way to open a file or program that we use very frequently. Now we shall move on to exercises. Let's begin with tick the correct option. First question is it is a collection of related information stored together. Option A file option B folder option C drive and the right option is option A file second question is a folder that is the part of a folder is called a option A file option B folder option C subfolder and the right option is option C subfolder now we shall move on to fill in the blanks first statement is As we keep important papers in a file similarly any information in a computer is saved in a form of dash and the right answer is as we keep important papers in a file similarly any information in a computer is saved in the form of a file second statement is a folder can hold other dash as well and the right answer is a folder can hold other folders as well third statement is All the files and folders are stored in the dash and the right answer is all the files and folders are stored in the drives fourth statement is the most common way to create a file is by using any dash software and the right answer is the most common way to create a file is by using any application software fifth statement is When we right click in the blank area of the dash a different menu with properties at the bottom appears and the right answer is when we right click in the blank area of the desktop a different menu with properties at the bottom appears 
Now we shall move on to write true or false for the following statements. First statement is the operating system controls all the activities of a computer. And yes, it is true. Second statement is the shortcut menu is also called the context menu. And yes, this is also true. Third statement is a folder cannot hold other folders. Oops, this is false. And the right statement is a folder can hold other folders as well. And now we shall move on to the last part of the video. Here are some interesting questions for you all. Do try to answer them. Students, that's all for today. Hope my video is clear to you all. If you have any doubts, do type it in the comment section. Stay home, stay safe, take care of yourselves. Good day to you all. Thank you.